Welcome to Satluj TV, I'm Angus Scott. Punjab is bursting with political and social fire these days. Everyone's uncertain about the current situation. The people of Punjab are facing big issues like farming, financial crises and the explosion of drug abuse amongst the youth of Punjab. One of the most recent issues being highlighted in the mainstream media is the escape of Amrit Pal Singh from the state security system and central government of India. But before we go deeper into this incident, let's take a first look at some of the vital things to know about Amrit Pal Singh. Well, it all started with a young guy who returned to his Punjab homeland from Dubai after converting from a clean-shaven lad to a baptised Sikh, leading a group called Waris Punjab Day, that is, the heirs of Punjab. This guy started a movement bringing people back to the basics of Sikhi, freeing them from the clutches of drug abuse, preaching in public, awakening them to their fundamental rights, making statements against the system, and reminding people about the injustices that happened in 1984 Punjab. It started in 2020, when the farmers' protest against the three farmers' bills was happening in India. That was where farmers from across India, but especially from the Punjab region, took to the roads in a form of protest, and they managed to shut down the Indian capital to demand protection of their fundamental rights. Well, that ended after a period of 14 months. However, this extended protest gave birth to many separate movements, one of them being the group started by Punjabi actor and Sikh activist Deep Sidhu. He started a group called Waris Punjab Day, and he became famous for his proclamations against the prevailing ruling system and the legal procedures of India, and all of which culminated in his act of raising the Khalsa flag on the Red Fort on the 26th of January 2021, and for that act he was arrested and subsequently bailed. But on the 15th of February 2022, Deep Sidhu died in a mysterious accident. Less than a month later, on the 4th of March 2022, Amrit Pal Singh was anointed as head of Waris Punjab Day, and he then returned to India on the 20th of August. By the 29th of September, he took full responsibility for the Sikh faith known as Dastar Bandi. Amrit Pal understood the huge potential of the internet, and so he promoted Waris Punjab Day across social media, and by doing this, succeeded in globalising the movement achieving support from young Sikhs not just across India, but of course from across the world. He preached about the Sikh faith. He reminded the public about the injustice that happened to Sikhs in 1984. He encouraged people to keep licensed weapons with them for self-defence. He promoted movements in Punjab, and even with a philanthropic intent, established a drug detox centre. It was also at this time he established the tradition of Khalsa Vahir, where priests would join the people in a march in which the Guru Granth Sahib, the Holy Book of Sikhs, would be carried, effectively turning the march into a Sikh religious parade. A parade with the primary intention of teaching people the values of being devout and being puritanical. This Khalsa Vahir started from Akal Takat Sahib in Amritsa with the destination of Anand Pur Sahib. But on the 23rd of February, things took a sinister turn when an accusation was made against one of the members of Waris Punjab Day for kidnapping. The individual was arrested, but under the leadership of Bai Amritpal Singh, the march turned itself towards the Ajnala police station with the intention of demanding the release of their man from custody. After several scuffles between the Sikhs and the police, the individual was finally released. As it subsequently transpired, his release was secured after one of the police officers admitted the Waris Punjab Day member had in fact been arrested on completely fabricated charges. So it was after this incident, the state government, with the help of central government and the Punjab police, announced on the 18th of March that it was launching an operation to crack down on Amrit Pal Singh. And it was then as Amrit Pal Singh was returning to his home village of Jalukera in the Malwa region of Punjab, that the police made their move to detain him. However, shortly after, the investigating agencies, the police and the Indian national media announced that Amrit Pal Singh had in fact escaped. 
Then followed a series of arrests of a slew of Amrit Pal Singh's followers and supporters, amongst which was Amrit Pal Singh's nearest and dearest. And they were dispatched to Dibrugar Jail in Assam, a considerable distance away, and then charged under the National Security Act. The implications of this being under this act meant that they could then be detained in custody without trial for one year. Subsequently, the Punjab police, through the national media, have released various pictures and videos of Amrit Pal Singh. This included CCTV footage of various locations in Punjab, Haryana and even Delhi, implying that his successful escape arrived in Nepal. It's now been almost two weeks since this operation and, according to the police and media, Bhai Amrit Pal Singh still remains out of reach of the police. In the last few days, when the Sikh diaspora across the globe protested the Indian government and the action of the police, Amrit Pal Singh dramatically released his own video on various social media platforms. He appealed to Sikhs to unite against the Sikh suppression and hold Sabat Khalsa. As a result of his appeal, all the protests in front of Indian embassies across the world ceased. Well, that's all for now. We'll be back with more updates soon. Thank you for watching Sattler's TV. I'll see you next time.